first trip overseas, you start to experience what real freedom is, and nothing can compare to it. The first wave you catch that changes your life, gets you hooked, you get obsessed by it, and start looking for ways to go travel and surf more often. You get back home, nothing has changed. You feel trapped in the city and traffic. And that's when I realized that I was the only one responsible for my life and the way I would be living it. I remember growing up, there was a sign on my dad's working desk. On it, there was a quote from the author Christopher Morley. And it said, there is only one success, to be able to spend your life in your own way. So when I got in touch with Seb, I was in California, uh, living in my van. I knew he was looking for a surf coach, so uh, we got in touch and I finally got the job and I was super stoked to come down here. It was also my first time in Nicaragua, so I got to explore the country with them and discover everything for the first time. So that was definitely uh, an amazing experience. I met Seb uh, like two years ago. Uh, I was in Canary Island working in another surf school there and I would like to come back in Central or South America and I met him by the website actually and he told me okay just come and have a try and I arrived like yeah, two years ago and it's still, still working together. Coaching, definitely the best job I've ever had in my life. Um, such a great experience and such a great opportunity to be able to just share your passion with, uh, with people, just teach them surfing, which is one of the, for me, one of the most beautiful thing in the world. This is something that makes me feel so good and to be able to share that with people is, is really amazing. You're not only showing them how to do a sport, you're also giving them the desire to just go see places and explore the world. We just wake up like super early, always before the sunrise and just have a look on the spot, like perfect glassy wave, no wind or offshore winds. And yeah, just to say, okay, it's gonna be like this all, all morning long, it's perfect, yeah. Actually the wave in, in Costa Rica, it's, it's super good for beginners too. Like super long left-hander, uh, point break, like yeah, it's when the swell is here, it's like for sure world-class wave. Uh, with the big long board we get just having like wave more than 40 seconds like easy all the way around all the way along to, to, to the beach like crazy 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 <laughs> We started as a really small company, basically myself. Uh, on my birthday, I started the Facebook page, I invited all my friends, and then um, I started doing one trip to Costa Rica, to my favorite place. Uh, I was traveling for about three, four years before that, between Mexico and Peru. I surfed all the Pacific coast, the Caribbean coast. My initial idea was to bring intermediate advanced surfers on a sailboat surfing around the islands of Panama where nobody was going. And then I quickly realized that the people who wanted to come on a surf trip were people who never surfed before and they wanted to start and learn safely and learn in cool places. In my previous life, I was into selling real estate. I was into a very stressful career and I was struggling a lot with anxiety. And the only thing that would calm me down was surfing. So I was always saving up to go on a surf trip, to feel happy again, to be relaxed be in the nature. I just thought I have to make the move. I was turning, I was about to turn 28, almost uh, 30 soon. 
and then I was like, okay, I need to make the change now or never. So that's how I started the company. Uh, the first morning, there was a tsunami alert when we were gonna do surf classes. I was very sick. I was all green from the lobster I ate the night before. And uh, the guy I was gonna rent board from didn't want us to rent his board. Uh, the locals had blocked the road to get to the beach because they wanted to fight for their rights with the government, for their land. So a lot of challenges, always things happening, but yeah, you always find a way to make it work out and have a great trip. Three and a half years ago, I met this girl walking on the dock in the marina of Panama. Uh, she had no hair. She looked really fragile. I gave her a hug and we started uh, writing to each other. Uh, she told me she had only one year to live. But uh, we ended up traveling together and supporting each other and laughing a lot. And I was amazed by her positive energy. I arrived in Central America I got some really bad news and I was really battling and uh, I was walking down the dock in a marina that I was living at and there was this guy, um, Sebastian, and he, he just gave me a hug and that was the start of something incredible. It was like the universe brought us together. We came across this place in Costa Rica and we decided to try it and to give all we had. And well, it's been two years now. Uh, we have a fantastic surf camp. Uh, we have a fantastic life. It's, it's very challenging sometimes, but we have such complicity and we laugh a lot. So I think that's the trick. And yeah, we keep on working on it. I think the best thing that happened to me in my life was meeting Diane. Uh, she's so positive, so inspiring. And the best part is that she's an amazing chef. She's such a small, small little lady, but man, she, she has all the skills you could imagine, and she's like an amazing chef. I, I can't believe like the food I'm eating here. It's just out of this world. I've never eaten that good in my life. I grew up on a 27 hectare organic farm uh, with my grandparents. I learned from the best. And uh, later on in life, our farm was taken away from us and I tried to always look for another place to create my own place and grow my own organic vegetables. And this is the place that I found, our little paradise, where I try to grow as much as uh, possible. And I use all of the ingredients from our garden to make uh, all the fresh uh, food that I produce here at our camp. They ask me, what are the ingredients in the meal? And I tell them, my first ingredient is love, and my second ingredient is love, and more love. So I cook my food with love, and that's what they taste in. The, my passion and my love um, for cooking and making everybody around me happy. Seven Yen are amazing duo. They're, they had such a warm welcome. I love the relationship I have with my co-workers that I, I definitely consider as friends now. Surf Expedition is more like family team, so we are not more than four or five people working together. So Having such a good team that goes along so well together, it makes the experience for the guests too so much more pleasant. I try to put a lot of love and research in all the trips that we provide. So in Nicaragua, we bring people to see active volcanoes, we take boats to virgin beaches that we can't access by road. Uh, we go cliff jumping, we go explore some oceanic caves, and we drive around the country to beaches where nobody else goes. So most of the time, only our groups are there at the beach, learning, surfing in virgin waves just for us. So that's really nice. The surf camp in Costa Rica, the place is like a dream. People land on the earth stripe, it feels like the 70s or like if you're in the narco movies and then we pick them up from there and bring them to the camp. During the week we'll take them horseback riding in the morning. Uh, we'll do some chocolate workshop with locals. Take people swimming in waterfalls, huge waterfalls in the forest. We also do a boat trip for a day. So we take the speedboat, go surf the other coast, explore some waves. Sometimes we see dolphins, even some whales. Make a picnic on the beach, set up a camp, so it's the real surf expedition. 
Seb picked me up at the border, bring me to the land, and we arrived here, it was night, so I didn't get to see anything on my first night. Then when I woke up, I was, I, I remember I was in the cabanas by the sea. It was sunrise, I woke up super early, and then I got out of my room and I, I saw the parrots in the trees, I could hear the monkeys scream from far away, and this place here is so fantastic. We got so many fruit trees around the land, and we got the craziest view and some waves right in front that we can hear them crash on the beach at night. And it's just such a, a magical place here. I think the best thing about this place is that there's only us and a lot of waves. So it's not the typical surf camp where you're in a city with a lot of other competitors and surf camps and you have to share the wave. Most of the time it's only us on the wave, so you get to catch more wave, it's safer, it's a better experience. Uh, just give my passion about surfing, seeing someone catch his first wave and there's a big smile for the rest of the day is, is priceless. Surfing for me has become a drug, you know, and but a healthy drug, it's so intense. When you start that, it changes your life forever, for sure. The adrenaline you get when you just score a big wave, just battling for it, getting it, doing the drop, making a huge turn, is just something like nothing else. Surfing is just there. Um, you just get such a rush of adrenaline, you feel the, the wave pushing you, it's like a bulldozer and you're just coming up the lip and your huge turn, huge spray. So that's like, uh, that's a feeling that I, it's the best feeling in the world.